Hi guys, it's been a while. Um, I just wanted to come in and catch up with everybody. Um, since I haven't been on here in a while. And um, I'm actually... I know I look rough. I'm, I'm all broken out from wearing the mask. We've got all this COVID-19 coronavirus going on around the world. You know, I live in the U.S. in the South. Um, it's been something. So I want to check in with you guys. But I, where I've been wearing the mask, it's been breaking me out. I'm an essential worker. I'm not in the medical field, but I'm an essential worker. And my mask is breaking me out. But anyways, I'm doing makeup. Uh, a makeup tutorial. I'm not going to do a full one on here. Um, I'm going to start it. Because I'm actually on another social media platform site where um, I've been doing some makeup tutorials. And I was actually asked to do another makeup tutorial if I could tonight. So I was going to, but I wanted to, since I haven't been over here in a while, and this is Cocoa Butter by the way. I wanted to come in and just say hi to everybody and start the tutorial here while I kind of talk to you guys for a few minutes. And um, yeah, so it's a clumpy it's a cocoa butter stick um there's no rhyme or reason I'm just wiping it all over my lips I'm trying to keep them soft and you can put it in your anywhere on your face you put the whole thing in your face if you want to I'm going to use this um hard candy primer mist um it smells like coconut to me it doesn't say that but that's what it smells like to me or does it say it i don't even know it's hydrating 12 hour um so i'm gonna get that going on i am um, about to go through my makeup um there's a lot of stuff i need to pitch and there's, it just needs to get organized because I can't find it. It's just cheap makeup. It's drugstore makeup. I love drugstore makeup. That is such a bad blemish. Mm. Um, and um, it's just bad. So anyways, my coffee. Um. Yeah, but I've been doing okay, you know. It's a little makes you a little nervous with all this stuff going on, but you know, we still gotta do what we gotta do. Like I said, I haven't been home. I mean, I have my days off, but I'm essential, so I haven't been, you know, like stuck at home like like a lot of people have. And um, yeah, um, I'm using a couple of different um, foundations here. This is um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I also have like a LA Colors Truly Matte I might add in with it. Um, so it's been something else, but I just wanted to, this is kind of a different topic, and I was going to come on here and kind of vent or rant about it or just talk about it. Vent, I guess, vent rant. Um, I saw on another social media platform that where, um, okay, I have to explain a little bit so you'll understand because otherwise you're going to go like, what are you even talking about? Um, basically, okay, which social media was it that I was on? Well, it doesn't even matter. I can't remember, but I've got, I'm on about every one there is. Basically, I'm in a group in one of the social media platforms that is um, for people who like um, American Horror Story, the TV show. And um, the last season that played was um, American Horror Story 1984. And it's basically essentially based on all of the sort of silly, um, you know, the horror movies from the 1980s, like Halloween, Friday the 13th, you know, Michael Myers, 
you know, all of this. And it's set in a camp. It's loosely based off of all of those. There's direct references and loose base, you know, bases, but it is supposed to be 1984. So all of the characters, and there's a lot of characters, they're all dressed with the makeup and the hairstyles of 1984. It's set in 1984. Uh, most of it's set in, at a camp, much like the camp in, you know, Friday the 13th. And at any rate, um, they, um, so in this group, this fan page that I'm on about it, um, I had posted a, um, TikTok and I forget, it's a challenge and I forget what the challenge actually is, but basically it's a lot of like teenagers or early 20s you know people who are holding up a cassette tape passing it off to each other and they start off dressed like in the current styles that are out right now and then they hold the cassette up close like this and they come back and they're dressed in 1980s fashion different styles of fashion the hairstyles the makeup the um clothes the shoes the whole the whole thing accessories and what i noticed is with almost every single one in the background their bedrooms because it was mostly it was like all bedrooms like teenagers you know how teenagers do they had 1980s style posters up their furniture even their you know decorations it was all like 1980s. So these are kids who, and maybe young adults, early 20s, 20s, who love the 1980s. So they are in the clothes, the styles, you know, the decorations of the 1980s. And they did a great job because I'm older and I was around for those times. And these kids did a phenomenal job of recreating the looks, the makeup, the hair, the clothes, their surroundings in 1980s. And when I had posted this, there were um, individuals who basically were like, and I'm about to do a part two of this. Okay, I'm going to actually end it and we'll do a part two. See you in a minute.